Welcome to another episode of the Azure Perfume Quick Start series. Today, I would like to talk about a new feature, a freshly released feature, the dynamic SQL lineage in Azure Perfume. I've talked about data lineage the videos before, and data lineage is like the information, where does my data come from, where does my data go to, and who does the magic in between. With the new feature, the SQL lineage, well, all those pieces of transformation that are done within databases, Azure SQL databases, are now considered and put into the lineage graph. As you can see here, in that screenshot over here, we've got tables over there, we've got a SQL stored procedure that actually produces data, data tables. So, and I would like to show you how that functionality works. The feature was released like yesterday or the day before, and it's called dynamic data lineage for Azure SQL databases. What's the difference between static analysis and dynamic or runtime analysis? Well, with the static code analysis, the tool that does um, the analysis of the structure, all the dependencies, it only knows what happens at the definition time. But with the runtime analysis, well, all those things that are are done throughout the day, for example, or dynamic SQL that is generated and executed against the database, only runtime analysis covers and fetches the, those information pieces. So how does it look like in Azure Perfume? I'm going to head over here. What we need is, well, a source pointing to an Azure SQL database. So that newly released functionality, it's available for Azure SQL databases. There's nothing special in the definition for the sources over here, but the scan definition needs some sort of information, or it's like a checkbox you need to tick on data lineage extraction. And that one activates the dynamic uh, lineage extraction. What you need to do before in order for the uh, capturing of all those information that is executed against the database, well, you need to run two statements. They are listed over here in the documentation. The first one is you need to add the Perfu account as a user, as suggested by the documentation database owner user. And you need to create a master key. That's all you need to do on the database side. Up next, it's like you have the scan definition. You tick that uh, checkbox for lineage extraction. Continue to uh, scope your database. What are the pieces of your database you want to scan? Those schemas, tables, views, procedures. And uh, you select a scan rule set like the default the system default one or a custom one. And you define the schedule, the trigger, should it be run once or uh, multiple times. Whenever that is done, the scan is initiated. And as you can see, it's different to the under quote, like the normal scan. What it does now is like it does a scan for the definition plus a lineage extraction scan. And uh, those two pieces, well, they have a look at A, the structural definitions plus the lineage extraction. It reads all those execution information like the execution log, what is actually done and has happened on your database. Whenever that scan is done, well, your data map is filled with additional assets. We're going to have a look at the example database I prepared, and it's called hmm, lineage test. And what we see here, well, we've got databases, a database schema, we've got tables in there, and we've got Azure SQL stored procedures. We've got different views, we've got tables in here. And I want to have a closer look on the stored procedure in here. Let's see what is captured. Okay, we've got some information like uh, the name and so on. But it, what is really interesting, it's the lineage. And that one hasn't been there before the release. So we've got source tables and we've got that stored procedure that actually 
uh, does the magic. It selects those two tables and creates a new one, a new table in that database. So that is, in short, the dynamic SQL data lineage within Azure Perfume. More to come, I have to uh, dive deeper into that one, but with the dynamic information, uh, lineage information extracted from the database, we get a closer look of what is happening in our database. With that, a first look, another deeper dive will come in the future. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your data lineage and dive deep, deeper into your data catalog.